Good morning. I thought we'd have coffee together this morning and chat a little bit about staple length. Check out my cup. Look how cute, look how cute that is. Cute, right? It's a wacky woolly cup. And it's from Ireland. You can get these on Amazon. Isn't that cute? My grandkids love these. Because they always look at the sheep. They're like, which one are you today? <laughs> I'm crabby sheep. <laughs> Kidding. Okay, so just because someone's a fiber person or a new fiber person doesn't mean that they know everything about wool from the get-go. It's something that you need to learn along the way. So today, I'm going to talk about staple length. What is staple length? What is a staple and how do you measure it? So um, first of all, I have a bunch of different fibers I wanna show you because some staple length is sort of short and some staple length is super, super long. Wait till you see this one. Okay, so um, this, is from, this is from a fleece. This is just part of a fleece. I mean, fleeces can be pounds and pounds and pounds and pounds of wool. Typically, you'll get a fleece that's skirted, which means they take off um, undesirable areas such as urine stained or some poop in it or too much vegetable matter or things like that. And then they give you what's uh, more of a prime fiber. But know that some fibers may have vegetable matter in them and some most will have dirt. I mean, sheep love to roll around in the, um, the dirt and... It is what it is, they live outside, so you need to be able to learn how to manage this. Um, hello, Nimbus. You need to learn how to manage this as a fiber um, person, as a hand, um, you know, as you're hand processing the fiber at home. You also need to know that it does take a little time. It's not, you're not gonna take a full fleece and scour a full fleece and then process a full fleece in a couple hours. It just take, just take little bites of things, do small parts at a time. Um, if you want to learn how to scar wool correctly, you can use my book, The Art of Washing Wool Mohair and Alpaca, and this is on Amazon. So let me bring you um, up close and personal to the table and let me show you some of these staple lengths up close and how to measure them. Okay, so let's get the table set up and let me show you. So I have a measuring tape because you want to measure sta staple. And um, sellers will tell you the staple length of the fiber. They will say it's unstretched, but that is um, that is an uh, unwritten sort of thing. It's always typically unstretched. So this is a fine gray merino. And to find the staple, to pull out a staple, you wanna to try to find the cut end. So usually the cut end has a little bit of dirt on the edge. This is the cut end. And then the very clean side, oh, oh sorry, that's the tip. That's the tip, that's where it, um, I call this the sunny side up. And this is the cut end because it's usually very clean and pretty much just straight across. This is the tip, this is the sunny side up the part that went up to the sun, um, that's taken all the wear and tear. Okay, so now I'm gonna find a little piece that's sort of clumped together and I'm going to pull it out. I'm gonna hold down here and pull. So this is your staple. That's a staple of fiber. And then we're gonna measure that. And it's about four and a half inches. So that is your staple of fiber. Okay, so that is the merino. Oh, let me show you how clean this scoured up. So that's the scoured, and then I actually comb some. 
Isn't that, isn't that lovely? So if you take the, um, if you get the, um, the book, it shows you how to do all that and tells you how to do all that. Okay, here is some that is a Cormo Luster Long Wool Cross. Gosh, this is really pretty. Um, okay, so here is the fiber. This is the outer edge or the sunny side up. That's that side there. And then this is the cut side. That's the cut side. So I'm going to find a part of the, the end here and pull that out. And there's your staple. And then let's go ahead and measure that one. And that one's about five inches. This one's scoured up. Oh my gosh, so white. And then I did comb some of that. So this is really, really beautiful. So that's the uh, Cormo Lester staple. Here is some Corydale. This is some Corydale from um, Rupert's, Rupert's Farm. I love this Corydale. Okay, so this might be a little bit more difficult to see where the tip end is and the cut end is because it's such a blocky structure of the, um, the Cormo. But when you look closely, do you see, let me bring that up a little closer. Do you see that cut end there? You see it straight across. And then if I pull it out, do you see the tip is a little bit, not quite as straight across as this end. And this also has a little bit of dirt in it. So that gives us a clue that this was the sunny side up or the side that went to the sun. All right, so this is a staple of Corydale. And I set that down and it's about three and a half inches. Now, a lot of sellers will actually put a staple next to a ruler to show you. And that will kind of give you a guide of how you want to prep it, um, things like that. That's in another lesson. And that is also in my book and my um, spinning and fiber extravaganza class. And this is it scoured up. Oh my gosh. If you can't scour like this, you guys have got to get the book. I mean, seriously, don't reinvent the wheel. Let me show you how to do it. All right, and this is a blue texel lamb. And this is the fiber. All right, this is easy to see where the sunny side up is. And I have a feeling this might be a lamb. See those little, see those little tips, those little wispy tips? This might be a lamb fleece. But that's the sunny side. That's the tip that was the side that was up. And then we have, that's the sheared side. So we're gonna grab one of those areas and pull it out and measure the staple. And that's about three and a half. And let me see, see those little tips? See how, how um, pointy that is? I'm gonna see if that pops off. Oh, this is probably a lamb because those tips came off. So that's important to know, that's for another time. But that's a blue texel. Um, this is a coarse grade wool. And then my last one, wait till you see this one. Wait till you see the staple length on this. This is a Drysdale. This is a very coarse wool. Um, it's a rug grade wool. Can you see, I mean, it's just all hair. But I'm, I'm always um, saying that wool is good for something. So this is a Drysdale, but look at the staple. <laughs> Look at that thing. It, can you imagine a whole sheep like this? Okay, so I'm gonna set that down and I'm not going to, I, I don't wanna stretch it out when I measure the staple. I'm just gonna leave it like that. The staple length is 12 inches. Hey, I'm gonna run in the back because I actually scoured a piece of this and I want you to see, I want you to see how white this came. So don't go away, just hold on a second. I'm running to get it. This is really cool stuff. And this is rug yarn because it will take a beating um, under your feet, under shoes. Check this out. Look at that. This is scoured. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? 
So scouring is not only about your soap choices, it's about so much more, so much more. Water, uh, pH, all that stuff. Okay, so we have um, different staple lengths of fiber. So this is the long staple length. And then the uh, Cormo cross was second. And then the Corydale was next. And there's your Corydale. And then we have the Blue Texel. And the Marino, which, which I'll put here actually because it's a little bit longer. So these are all staples, and these are the staple lengths. You measure them unstretched, and that's how it works. So when um, someone sells a fiber and they show you a staple and the length of it, that gives you a clue of how to process it. All right. Anyway, don't forget um, to check out my book, The Art of Washing Wool Mohair and Alpaca, and my Spinning and Fiber Extravaganza Workshop, your long workshop, workshop is going on right now. We, let's see, module one was about posture, wheelchairs, or wheelchairs, <laughs> spinning wheels, <laughs> spinning wheels and um, positioning and treadling and all that stuff. And then module number two is about spinning a consistent single. Number three, which is going on right now, is about plying balanced plies. And then module four is about scouring. And then we have the rest of the year. So go check that out. I'll put the link below. Please subscribe and like this video. And I will be having more um, for you guys later, especially for new fiber artists and new spinners. You have a fabulous day. Bye-bye now.